This is Dean with Westlake Pro, and today we're taking a look at Ozone 7 Elements from Isotope, the powerful mastering plugin uh, with a very simple interface, very easy to use, get up and running with a great sound. So we're taking a look here at the metering within Ozone 7 Elements and how to use those correctly. Now, if you want to listen to this plugin, hear how it sounds, hear some of the presets, check out the videos. We've got links in the descriptions for those. Also, be sure to check out our overview videos uh, in order to learn more about the different controls in this plugin. So let's talk about the different metering options and how to use them within Ozone 7 Elements. So you can see that we have two different options. We have, we have two different meters. We have peak and RMS. So as I hit play on this, you can see this brighter blue that is a little bit lower than the lighter, fainter blue. And that bright blue is our RMS meters. The lighter blue that is often higher than that is the peak meters. So let's talk about what each of those do. I'm gonna zoom in on the waveform here. And to better explain this, we're gonna look at this waveform. So this is just a short section of the, of the piece. But you can see that we have these, you know, two major components to the sound. We have peaks, and these are the short, uh, kind of shooting up parts of the waveform. And then we have kind of the meat of the waveform, the, the big part that's very solid color, and, and it's a little bit less than the peaks. So basically, what we're looking at here is two different measurements. We're looking at the peak meter, which measures how loud those peaks get, and we're also measuring what the average volume of the sound is. So when we go over here to Ozone Elements, you can see that the peaks jump with the peaks uh, of the music, and the RMS kind of hovers there uh, toward what the average level is. RMS stands for root mean square, and the best way to think of it is kind of like an average of how loud your sound is. So when you're using this, it's important to understand how to use these different meters. So you obviously don't want to clip, and if you do clip, you'll see these little red lights uh, flare up here. Luckily, we're, we have enough headroom to where we're not clipping. But if we, you know, pull this threshold down a good bit in the maximizer, you'll see that our output gets louder than our input. And what we're really measuring for is the RMS. We're looking for that RMS to get to a certain level without having any clipping peaks. For most cases, mastering with an RMS of negative 6 dB is the best bet. So that's hovering right about there. And so this would be a pretty good level for us to master at. Now, one of the other features of the metering here is mid-side. Let's go ahead and play it and see how it looks different. So you can see now that we have this gold meter in the center and we have the blue meters on the side. Now we still have the RMS and peak, but we have three different meters. The gold one in the middle is measuring the middle, the center sound, the sounds that are coming through both speakers. Now over here on the side, we have kind of the stereo image. So if we're working with a mono track, for example, we wouldn't have anything coming through the sides, we would just see the middle. Since we're working with a stereo file, we're seeing those sides come through, and it's allowing us to see the difference uh, of how the mid and the side are in terms of level. Now this can be useful if you're trying to figure out how wide your stereo image is. It might even lead you to choosing the enhanced stereo image preset if you wanted to get a little bit wider sound. For the most part, using the stereo meters is going to be the way to go. 
So those are the metering options within Ozone 7 Elements. Uh, very powerful meters and very accurate meters. They allow you to you know, quickly see how loud your sound is. They quickly give you a good analysis of it. Like I said, if you want to listen to this more, if you want to hear this on a bunch of different styles of music, be sure to check out those videos and we'll walk through all the different presets and, and sounds that we can get out of Ozone 7 Elements. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to the Westlake Pro YouTube channel for more videos like this.